Hey guys, today I've got some spring DIYs that would work for last minute Easter decor as well. Let's get started. For this DIY, you'll need some plastic eggs or some paper mache eggs. And I like these from the Dollar Tree because they're already a neutral color and they um, don't open, so they're already sealed up ready for you to decorate. For this first one, you'll need just one page out of a book. And I'm cutting um, each line out individually. So each line and in, um, in these paragraphs, I'm just cutting out. Um, and then I'm just simply going to Mod Podge the strips onto this Easter egg. Once I got it all covered, I felt like it needed just something a little bit extra, and I thought um, cutting out, cutting off the end of this page where the book page number is would make for a nice sort of piece of trim, so I just mod podge that across it as well. For this next egg, I'm just taking this tissue paper from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just showing you here how you can use water to uh, tear, to help tear out your images to Mod Podge. Instead of cutting it, it makes for a nicer um, edge on the pieces that you're Mod Podging. And I'm just simply going to Mod Podge these pieces of tissue paper onto this egg. For this next egg, I'm giving the egg a few coats of plaster chalk paint by Waverly, and I'm going to use these gold um, rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. And sometimes the gold transfers, the other colors of transfers work beautifully, but sometimes the gold ones are a little um, finicky and they don't transfer quite as well. You can um, scratch it on too, you know, too hard or too light. I mean, it just, it, it, you have to apply the, just the right amount of pressure to these. They're very finicky, but I think that this egg turned out beautifully and I actually liked that the gold didn't go on perfectly. It gave it a nice sort of antique vibe. For the base of this egg, I wanted to cover up the plastic look, the shininess, and so I'm just Mod Podging on some craft tissue paper to start with. Once that's dry, I'm just taking these green um, floral rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree and going to cover the whole egg. For the next one, I'm taking these half pearls from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to um, glue them on in a sort of hobnail pattern. I'm going to attempt a hobnail pattern. And so just spacing them out as evenly as I can using my eye. It's not perfect, but you can't really tell that it's not perfect. It looks fine. 
I'm just going to cover the egg and then give it a few coats of ivory chalk paint. And for this um, egg, I'm trying something that I've never um, attempted before, and that's to cover this egg in beads. And um, to start off with, I took a strand of the half pearls from Dollar Tree and just put, put it around the middle as centered as I could get it, and as straight as I could get it. And I'm just showing here that Walmart has these small wooden beads that you could use if you don't have a thrifted um, wooden bead necklace like I have here. But these were already strung up and I thought I'm going to make a border um, a little bit separated on the outside of these half pearls. And um, it did not turn out straight, but once you get all of the beads covering the whole egg, uh, even if you didn't get your border or any, any of your pieces that you wanted straight, straight, um, it doesn't really matter and once the egg is totally covered it looks fine. So now I'm just really globbing on some Mod Podge and then filling in the gaps um, in between my, my um, what I'm calling my trim pieces and I took a couple of these Dollar Tree very small beads. I don't know if they would be considered seed beads but I know that craft stores sell very tiny beads and just simply Mod Podging them on, just um, dropping them at random into some Mod Podge, doing a section at a time, because if you don't, um, you know, uh, do a section at a time, then they'll sort of slide around on the egg and fall off, um, because this Mod Podge, you know, is just basically glue. So um, just cover the entire egg, and I think it turned out beautiful. Now you could use the little cardboard container that these eggs came with, but I wanted to do something else to display these, to possibly use them as a centerpiece um, at Easter, um, or just to you know display as a spring decor piece. And so I'm going to ma be making um, a mini wooden trough. I'm using two five-gallon stir sticks, and I got these from Walmart. And at the time of making this video, they were still three of them for a dollar. I bought these just a couple of days before doing this craft. So I'll just be needing two. And I'm just showing here that you can use your miter shears and um, a utility knife to score the wood, to, um, to cut it, and to um, break it off. And that's what I always used to do before I had this little saw, but I got this saw from Harbor Freight and I'm going to use it to just cut off the handles of our five gallon stir sticks. Now that I've got two pieces that are the same length, I'm going to glue them together with some wood glue and clamp them just making a, um, an L or a V. <laughs> I did let that glue set up for quite a few hours before continuing on, but now our trough needs some feet. And I have these finial caps here that you can get from any craft store. I think I might have even got these from Walmart. But if you don't have any uh, finial caps, you can use a couple of wood beads and glue them together to make four little legs for your trough. I'm using a combination of wood glue and hot glue just so that the hot glue will hold the feet onto the trough while the wood glue sets up. Thank you. 
Once that was done, I wanted to close off the ends of the trough, and so I'm just using these giant um, popsicle sticks or craft sticks from Walmart. And um, they're easy to cut with scissors, so I like that about them. And so I'm just going to use my scissors and cut a triangle to fit as best as I can um, to the shape of the ends of the trough. Then I gave the whole thing a coat of Antique Wax by Waverly. There's so many things you could display in this little trough, and um, it's definitely a good piece for year-round. And I like the shape of it and the length of it. It's very unique. But um, I'm just going to display these eggs in the trough with some Spanish moss. The extra eggs in these pictures are some eggs that I did toward the beginning of my channel and I'll leave the link to them down in the description box. For this next DIY, you'll need a piece of scrap wood or a sign from the Dollar Tree. I think the tag signs from the Dollar Tree would be a good size for this project. And you'll also need one of these strainers from the Dollar Tree. They're the smallest size that they offer. I'm just bending the strainer just a little bit to bring the bottom part forward to give the look that I'm going for. And I'm going to be giving the metal a coat or two of the um, hammered copper spray paint by rust -Oleum, but you could paint it whatever color you'd like or leave it as it is. This plastic handle on the strainer was a no-go, and so I just covered it in twine using hot glue. I needed some mini eggs, and um, this isn't the first time this year I've needed some mini eggs. I need to go out and find some, but I didn't have any. Last time I used some little rocks and painted them. This time I'm going to be using some oven-baked clay. I felt like even though the copper spray paint was supposed to be hammered, I felt like it didn't have very much dimension, so I'm just going over the uh, copper color with some antique wax. And I also felt like the whole piece was a little bit plain, so I'm just taking a piece of trim that I got here, thrifted, and I'm going to put it on the top. Once I've hot glued the strainer to the piece of wood, I'm just creating a faux nest using some Spanish moss, hot gluing it inside of the strainer. Super easy. And I thought the eggs needed a little more character, so I'm just taking some plain gray acrylic paint, 
watering it down a little bit and splattering some splatters on our eggs. My little blue hot glue gun finally gave up the ghost and so here I am with my um, yellow glue gun and um, just gluing the eggs inside the little strainer. I hope you enjoyed these crafts today and if you did give this video a thumbs up i want to thank all my subscribers for their support if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos that i put out thank you for stopping by i hope everyone has a wonderful easter holiday see y'all in the next one